one shot because you have the underside of the craft and it's pretty clear. So if you got you have the negatives, can yeah, you, can you get the negatives? We can get the negatives. Definitely enlarge it. That could be misinterpreted as being like flames from a jet or something like that. Oh, look, at, look, at the, look at this, looks like an alien face right there in the, in the, um, the landscaping. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the, see, you right see right the, like the eyes right. there? there yeah. Just in that. Yeah. 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 You can see like the so top of the head there and then the eye there. I don't know why that caught my there. eye, but I think yeah. it's a picture yeah. of What do you think of this? I think it looks like a CD. Unbeliever. The real debate over UFO images isn't in Roswell, it's on the web. Part of the reason why UFO fascination has grown is because of the rise of the internet. In fact, the internet is filled with UFOs and porn and UFO porn. YouTube is the home of UFO sightings, where footage of mysterious objects is accompanied by the obligatory X-Files theme music. In the comments section, believers and skeptics weigh up the evidence for and against, and then call each other fags. But some videos are more credible than others. Or are they? How can you spot the difference between real videos and the fakes? Well, I found the master of UFO frauds on YouTube, a man who calls himself the faking hoaxer. In order to protect his identity, he's representing himself as a computer-generated avatar. So how did you enter the world of UFO fakery? Well, I was looking at some UFO forums and they were all discussing how real some of the fakes were and I said they're obviously fakes and I can prove it to you. So I showed them how easy it is to remake them on a computer and uh, that's how I became the faking hoaxer. So this is more than just innocent pranking, you're doing this to make a point? Oh well, it, it really annoys me that these people believe these fake UFOs so I just recreated them and showed them how I did it. I just wanted to tell people, don't believe everything you see. So tell me what you think of this video. This is the famous Haiti UFO. The Haiti video. Oh, look, take one look at it. Look at the trees. They're all absolutely identical. The guy used the template. He's an idiot. He's completely lazy. I have to say that your videos look pretty damn real. Um, do you fool UFO experts with them? Yeah, yeah, of course they do. Yeah, one of my most recent ones was uh, up on the internet. It's the two spheres and the space shuttle one. The UFO nutters went mad about it on the forums. But here's the ironic thing. On my YouTube videos, I, I say that my footage is fake. I go on the forums to discuss it with them, and now they're accusing me of being a fake for discrediting my own footage, and I'm getting kicked off the forums. It's unbelievable. Why do you think people believe in your videos? People believe these hoaxes, and they believe that what they're seeing is real because they want to believe. Well, I'll give them something to believe. I'm going to make my own UFO hoax. And forget computer graphics, I'm going to give them an actual UFO. This is my UFO sweatshop with my team of builders, Mike, Pablo and Tonya Todman. Hello. So what we're using are helium balloons and these programmable LED lights. It's all held together by plastic tubing. You know, I really like these long pipe cleaners because they hold things together very well and the children just love them. So we're sending up all these balloons in the sky and of course the most important thing is getting maximum visibility. Well, anything that used this lolly pink fringing is sure to be noticed. And if uh, all goes according to plan, that's our UFO. And here's one I made earlier. He can't go without this. All right. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know about that. And tonight's the night. We've only got one chance at this to send this contraption up into the sky. I've decided not to launch our UFO in the city because we need a secluded launch site. And because it's four hours away from where Tonya Todman lives. We've got a, uh, a guy wire which is a 500 kilogram, basically, fishing wire. Oh, it looks like you caught yourself a truck. <laughs> so we can tether it to position from the ground, so hopefully it doesn't take off too, too violently. That light up there, that's not a UFO, that's Venus. How are you going there, Mike? Hi, you know, holding on. Okay, ready, Pabs? Yeah, yeah. All right, here you go. It's going up. 
Lights on. Wow, it fucking looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's up in the sky, but will anyone believe it's a UFO? <laughs> to find out, we secretly filmed in a nearby beer garden. You don't need a telescope to see our UFO, but beer goggles help. What the fuck is that? What is it? It's the moon. I can't see. What the fuck looks like? I'm so short-sighted. I don't know. It's flashing. It's weird. Should we climb up higher? That way. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. <sighs> I don't know what, what they're saying. Have you had any reports? No. no. Um, a Tarragon's pub, and it's Friday night about 10 o'clock. I reckon about a couple of hundred people up here have seen a UFO. What the fuck? I know, mean, it's sort of weird. Fuck, if I wasn't drinking, I'd drive up and have a look. <laughs> so awesome. It really looks like it's hovering above something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And with that, my unidentified object stopped flying. But the incident was reported in the local newspaper, the Maitland Mercury. Some witnesses even uploaded phone camera footage on YouTube. Who the fuck is that? And the comment section quickly attracted some believers. They engaged a number of skeptics in debate, which they then resolved by calling each other fags. The faking hoaxer will be so proud. Look, please don't take this personally, but the footage of that balloon is shit. It looks like a 1950s B-movie of Flash Gordon or something like that. So my personal score for you guys, I'm afraid, is 0 out of 10. I blame Tonya Todman. But ask any true believer, and they say that dodgy objects up in the sky can't all be Venus, hoaxes and Jetstar. They say that the real evidence for UFOs is hidden as part of some grand government conspiracy. That the military knows more than we do.